Let's back up a bit and think about another question about dinosaur behavior. If dinosaurs and people were both created on day six, would dinosaurs in the Garden of Eden have eaten Adam and Eve? <laughs> right. Now remember, Tom Holland, the author there, had a hard time with that idea as a child, blending the two together, because he'd only been given the millions of years story. Well, once again, the Bible gives us the answer. Uh, Genesis 1, 29 to 30 reads, And God said, Behold, I have given you, referring to Adam and Eve here, every plant yielding seed that is on the face of all the earth, and every tree with seed in its fruit. You shall have them for food. And to every beast of the earth, and to every bird of the heavens, and to everything that creeps on the earth, everything that has breath of life, I have given every green plant for food. Okay, so in other words, uh, there was no meat eating, uh, not for people or animals. Right. Uh, so the original kinds that became today's carnivores, like uh, lions and tigers and, you know, and even T-Rex, well, they initially ate plants. Yeah, and in our Creation Answers book, there are several possibilities suggested for how some animals were changed to include defense and attack structures after the creation was cursed. But even some carnivores today can thrive on a vegetarian diet. In Creation Magazine, over, over the years, there have been two articles about vegetarian lions. Back in 2000, there was the lion that wouldn't eat meat. Then in 2007, Leah, the spaghetti lioness, about a lion who was raised on Italian pasta. And both of those articles are now online at creation.com. Yeah, pass the Parmesan. Right. <laughs>